Hey fellow Vault winners, it's Angry Tartu and in this video we'll be taking a closer look on Gauss Pistol and we'll review it and we'll test all the mods as I did with other Wastelanders weapons. It's finally turn for Gauss Pistol and follow up video after this one will be a pistol build as so many of you asked me to do it and to actually make a build that is useful and can use pistols. Then we have this Gauss Pistol and we'll see what we can do about that. But first the review. As you can see, I have uh, standard modifications first and nothing is changed. Let's see how this will perform. The damage uh, stated is 336. It is boosted by my adrenal reaction mutation and uh, pistol perks already equipped. Then it's not crazy, but it's good. The damage is decent compared to all other pistols. This one per should perform well, but we'll see in the build video tomorrow. First, we focus on possible modifications. To quickly show what's the damage compared to the biggest competition of Gauss Pistol. There is a Gauss Pistol and it's doing 418 damage. It's anti-armor. Let's compare it to anti-armor Western Revolver. That is modified as well. Both of those are fully modified at this moment. And it's 226. Then basically, Gauss Pistol, it's almost a double up. And this is one star, Gauss Pistol. This is a three star. A Western Revolver, but only anti-armor and there is nothing affecting the damage. In both of those pistols there is nothing affecting the damage, only armor penetration and other stats. Therefore it's almost twice as powerful when fully charged, because that's important, this damage is stated here, it's for fully charged. At this moment it's definitely number one gunslinger pistol, as Western Revolver was the king so far, not anymore. Hipfire accuracy? It's really good. I'm not using Modern Renegade. As you can see, I don't even have this perk par card unlocked yet. Then nothing is boosting my hipfire accuracy. It's just how good hipfire accuracy with this pistol is. And we'll be modifying it in here. And to be sure that all tests I did from the same spot, I will just exit the workbench, turn around. And our hit chance is 36% for the head. Yeah, that's without any modifications. And hip fire accuracy is very good. The sighted without any modifications, it's not good. It doesn't look good without any sight. Let's see what will change first. The, the test of the AP. My total action points, 180. Let's see how many shots we'll get out of it. One, two, three, four, five. Five shots will exactly drain all our action points. Then we have that. Five shots, no modifications. Okay, what, what are we start with? Let's see the magazine, because it offers the drum magazine. Let's do magazine first, there's only one option, drum magazine. Let's see what will change. Uh, there was 18 bullets before, and now we're going up from 18 to 27. And the big question is AP cost. One, two, three, four. Yes, AP cost is actually going up then I'm not gonna use it. I'm going back to standard magazine. I'm not sure if it's worth as pistols are mainly good for VATs. Then the, I know there are still bugs with VATs and hits at 90% missing, uh, criticals missing. That's on all Gauss weapons, but I hope at some point Bethesda will fix that. And I want my build to be ready for full VATS usage. Therefore, the standard magazine, it is five shots. Now we have sights, uh, glow sights. What does it do? Let's start testing from the simple stuff. Glow sight, slight improved accuracy. And you can actually see when you are aiming that that's an improvement. But does it do anything for VATS? One, two, three, four, five. Still five shots. Then it doesn't do much, if any. Let's try to change it for reflex sights. On all weapons, reflex sights are reducing AP cost, then I hope it will be the case in here as well. Uh, let's see. And I think glow sight maybe was reducing a little bit. I had some remaining AP. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And yeah, it was clearly more, more AP left almost six shots available uh, let's see with full ap maybe if i will be firing faster 
Will I get the six shots? Let's try again. One, two, three, four, five. No, I'm a little bit shy from six shots, but definitely reflex sights it is. Accuracy is improved. Hip fire seems to be about the same. And if I aim down the sight, yeah, it's, it's okay. I will say it's covered a lot of screen when you aim, but at least you know when you are aiming. The problem is when you charge, the aim is going up and it's shaking, then it's not perfect for usage like that. We did magazine and sizes. As, as we are going up, then let's see the barrel. Our option, it's standard short barrel, that should it be the good option. Let's see a line. Unfortunately, in case of barrel, a uh, suppressor is not separate, then we either go for a line barrel or suppressed barrel. Let's see what's the trade-off. A line barrel first. How many shots in VATS? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it helps a little bit. It allows us to have six shots. VATS accuracy is uh, not changed. Uh, about the recoil... I think recoil is a little bit reduced. And accuracy down the side should be a little bit better, but range on pistols is low enough that accuracy is not our concern, actually. And next, what we have, uh, suppressed barrel. Let's see, we're losing the range, but this one allows us to use sneak, then most likely it's the barrel you want for your pistol build, if it's a sneak build. And let's see what else change. How's our cost in VATS? The accuracy drop uh, in VATS, that, that's because the range drop, and VATS accuracy it's mainly connected with weapon range. Low weapon range, reducing accuracy in VATS. But let's see how the cost looks like. One, two, three, four, five, and slightly shy of six shots. Unfortunately, it's not reducing our VATS cost like a line barrel, then it's a trade-off. We are getting ability to sneak, we are getting even better recoil, uh, but in the same time, we are losing wrench and AP cost reduction. We do have a receivers, and we have couple options in here. I cannot put Prime uh, because I do not have Gunsmith, but Prime is basically hardened. I check it on other character. Uh, Prime is basically hardened receiver with bonus to Scorch and Scorch Beasts. Therefore, it's clearly for Scorch Beast Queen fights. Other than that, Hardened Receiver do exactly the same job. The only difference in ammo crafting, like Ultra Sight Ammo, you sacrifice Flux to get more ammo from your lead, or you just craft regular 2mm and you spend more lead, but you do not need any Flux. I usually prefer that those regular 2mm because I'm collecting those on my other characters, and those are heavy, then I need characters that will use them. But let's see one by one. Refine Receiver. This one should improve our accuracy and hip fire accuracy. Then before we swap, let's take another look on the accuracy. That's the accuracy. And now we swap. And now with Refine Receiver, clearly there is improvement to hip fire accuracy in VATS, there is no change. Uh, let's see how that's cost. One, two, three, four, five. Exactly the same. Not affected. Okay, then what's else on our list? We have Vicious Receiver. This one uh, should give us as well accuracy and critical shot damage. But it's giving us less base damage than you most likely do not want to use it. But let's test it for science. The VATS critical is usually not worth it. Let's see VATS cost. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the same. That there is no chance, the only thing we are getting is a little bit more critical damage. You don't want it. You can see my video about sneak attacks and VATS criticals and you will know why you don't want this receiver. It's it's possibly the, the worst one, Vicious Receiver. Then we have Hardened Receiver. It's superior damage. Cost us a little bit of durability, but superior damage is what we want, and most likely it's the choice. Let's see. 
Yeah, hip accuracy is the same like a standard receiver, but we are getting more damage. Let's see the VATS cost. One, two, three, four, five. And yeah, that's exactly the same as every other. The hit chance is the same. It's just Mitsu was pushed again a step backwards. It's Y25, not 26. Uh, therefore, quick summary for those mods that we just tested. It's not too much, to be honest, to choose from. The receiver either go for hardened or prime because you find you don't need this extra hip fire accuracy it's already very accurate then hardened or prime depend on your needs or damage then we have barrel then it's either a line or suppressed a line will reduce vats cost and give you this okay range but you need suppressed if you wanted to use with sneak then no sneak align sneak suppressed then about magazine the drum magazine give you more bullets, but it's only worth it if you plan up hip firing or aiming down sights with your weapon and not the VATS usage. If you plan to use VATS, keep the standard one. If you don't want to use VATS, install drum magazine. Then reflex sight, I think is the option for everyone. It improves accuracy and reduces the cost of VATS. There is no downside. And that's it about modifications for Ghost Pistol. I will keep this one on a setup for sneak and vats and we'll test it tomorrow you will see it in action when i will post my pistol build but at this moment thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one